London Uncovered as we are sailing on to a new episode and today we are talking about friends with benefits yes they say a friend wears a smile when the world wears a frown a friend lends a hand to help you when you're down a friend knows when to listen and when to give advice a friend is there forever anytime day or night so what does friends with benefits mean it means that it's a relationship in which two people are physically intimate with one another yet they are not committed to each other in any way their relationship isn't romantic and has no strings attached research shows that over 50% of people in their 20s have had such a relationship at least once so why do people want to be friends with benefits here are some reasons it can feel safe and fun to explore one's sexuality with a trusted friend it can also be an alternative for people who don't want to commit and people who may hope that a friends with benefits relationship may evolve into a dating relationship studies show such relationships are built on certain rules like honesty being honest about one's expectations and feelings are very important check runs on emotions means keeping feelings and expectation to oneself for example getting jealous and talking about future relationships are not allowed no cheating they are not allowed to sleep with anyone else intimacy rules some people only allow to hook up after drinking relationship clarification if one wants to date someone else but has to clarify the nature of the relationship and here are some questions you should ask yourself before you get into such relationships and they are what are my needs wants and expectations will my friendship change how may i feel in my relationship changes or ends how may i feel if my friend starts a relationship with someone else how will i take care of things like unplanned pregnancy infections and sickness how will i talk about sexual health and consent in order to avoid heartache fully understand what you're getting into otherwise it can leave you feeling unfulfilled and unimportant thus inspect before you expect look before you leap and test before you trust so let's go and see what people have to say about it Tell us, what does friends with benefits mean to you? Um, I think it means a kind of strange on-off, on-off feeling about a relationship. In public, you're friends and you you just, you have a normal friendship. In private, um, you're sleeping together. Um, it feels like turning the love on and turning the love off. It feels a bit schizophrenic, to be honest. So how do you think these relationships work? I think, to my mind, it feels like stop start stop start stop start um, and it it's strange it, it, if, if we're thinking and we want to be in an area a, 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 a time of sex positivity we don't want to be saying sex is bad um, in any way this feels like in some ways sex positivity sex is great let's just enjoy it but in a strange way it's become split it's friends with benefits splits it off so that it's sex but in a kind of functional utilitarian sort of way and then um, you know we're gonna go off and do other things as well it feels like it's been somehow cut off from your emotional life um, and, and that's what's strange about it it's supposed to be all accepting um, but actually it's taking away uh, it's cut off from your emotions so what message would you give to the world Peter I think I would ask people to really think about their motivations. If you're going to give your body to somebody, why not give your heart? Peter, that was profound. Thank you very much. God bless. Tell us, what does friends with benefits mean? Um, 
friends with benefits to me my understanding is um, having some sort of a relationship with uh, obviously male female type relationship without any commitment to the actual relationship there's no string attached type relationship that's my understanding of friend with benefits how does it work um it's a bit of a tricky one but from what i know i know it works the way it works is there there aren't any so you're in, in a, a, a some sort of open relationship without any emotional commitment to the other person and and without any form of without use the word exclusivity towards someone so it's literally a very casual type relationship um, and I feel like the way it works is everyone is free to do whatever they want to do outside of that commitment um, or non-commitment so that's my understanding of it and that's how I think it works what message would you give to the world well everyone is free to do whatever they want but I will always say um, again in life every action has uh, an equal and proportional reaction um, there's no such thing in my understanding in my opinion as no strings attached to this everything is connected so having a relationship whereby uh, we we're in a relationship or we we're basically taking a byproduct of, of, of a substance without looking at the substance so it's almost like you want to have happiness without working hard for it or you want to be full without eating any food that's the way i see so i like to think that in my opinion i think friends with benefits probably work for certain people maybe maybe not but um overall every action and reaction has equal and pro proportional um the equal and proportionally related and you can't have your cake and eat it in my be something that people realize earlier on it might be something that people realize a bit later on but at some point it will really come to you and you realize that actually friends with benefits probably not um probably not as straightforward and as black and white as people might think it is so that's my opinion um tim and um i'm not saying it's ultimate but that's the way i see it tim once again it's been a pleasure thank you thank you tell us what does friends with benefits mean to you? Friends with benefits mean to me just like just being friends and just having a sexual connection really. So how does that work? Well, you just stay friends and just don't go over that line. What message would you give to the world? The message I give to the world is just love, peace and just be happy. James, it's been a pleasure. Thank you. You're welcome. Tell us, what does friends with benefits mean to you? Friends with benefits, I have to say, friends with benefits is not a concept that I'm, I recognise. A friend is a friend, regardless of what benefits they have to you. You wouldn't recruit a friend because they had certain benefits could be available to you. A friend is a friend, that's it, benefits doesn't come into it. So how does friends with benefits work? Uh, like I say, I don't, I don't get that concept. I don't buy into that concept. I understand other people might, but um, for me, I just don't get it. You, you, you become a friend with someone because you become a friend with them, not because of what they can get from you or what you can do for them. What message would you give to the world, David? <laughs> well, um, I would say um, choose your friends uh, for the right reasons. Um, don't look at somebody and think, what can I get from them? What benefits might I derive from friendship with them? Just, uh, just be yourself and choose your friends on a personal basis. David, once again a pleasure. Thank you. You're welcome. Take care. Tell us, what does friends with benefits mean to you? Well, friends with benefits, eh? Well, it's a sticky situation. Um, it's some a pal or a friend of yours that uh, that you can go to for various other extracurricular activity you know um if you want to 
to have a relationship without any strings attached, basically. Um, have a friend with benefits, really. So how does that work? Uh, very carefully. If you, <laughs> you have to keep everything separate and make sure it doesn't go any further than uh, just friends with benefits, because otherwise you end up on a you know, sticky situation where you could, you know, even fall in love with somebody and they not reciprocate. So it could get a bit dodgy that way. Brett, what message would you give to the world? I'd say be good, take care, and have fun. Brett, as always, a pleasure. Thank no you. <laughs> Tell us, what does friends with benefits mean? Yeah, I think friends with benefit for me this is like a catch-all term for people who don't necessarily want to have uh, a steady relationship. You know, they want to have a bit of fun, um, and and I've kind of been caught up in that myself. Uh, where you know you don't make any commitments, um, it's just you know casual sex, um, and the, the problem with I think friends with benefits is that somewhere along somebody gets hurt. You know because we naturally we naturally form bonds with people, and when you form a bond with somebody, and they are a bit standoffish about having a relationship, then there's a power dynamic there, and somebody's on top and someone's sort of on the bottom. So it's one of these catch-all terms for basically casual sex, I think. So how does the arrangement work? Um, so, like, like I say, you know, I, I think the problem, the problem with Friends of Benefits, and it can be a, a positive as well, is that there isn't, there isn't a, a relationship as such. It's just two people, um, you know, having sex, meeting up for hookups, you know, and that, that's fine if, that, if that's all it is. But like I say, because we as human beings, we tend to want a relationship at some point in our lives. That's all well and good if it's just friends with benefits, if you're just hooking up for, you know, a fling here and there and, and everywhere. But if you're also looking for other partners, um, you know, multiple, potentially having multiple friends with benefits, then they, they, that's when it comes problematic, like I say, because the likelihood is you're going to form an attachment with one of those people, and then you're going to have to kick the other people to the curb, and, and they may not see that as, as being a good thing. So it's, you know, it's just, um, it's just one of these situations that I think is set up for somebody to get hurt at the end of the day. Um, what message would you give to the world, Tom? Uh, yeah, I mean, friends with benefits. Like I say, if if you don't want a relationship, friends with benefits is some of the one of these situations that will suit you. And if the other person or people are of, are like minded, then then it's fine. But I just think you know, in general, we we don't really want to be having friends with benefits you know our entire lives. So. It's not sustainable. So, you know, I think you've just got to be more honest with yourself and say, look, I want a relationship. I'm going to play the dating game and then I'll find somebody I like and then I'll stick with that person. And that's more realistic in my views. So that's what I'd say. Tom, once again, it's a pleasure. Thank you. Thanks, Sanjay. As we come to the end of this episode and we've been talking about friends with benefits and we have seen that a friends with benefit relationship can be complex one has to be aware of his emotional limits the expectations versus reality also be prepared for the future challenges for everyone's experience is different and what works for one might not work for the other that is why setting of boundaries is very important friends with benefits can be a fun warm and satisfying way to connect with another person but the trick is to be kind and communicate yet remember you don't need to be in love to care about someone and one author says beautifully oh they think they know while second guessing at best pure speculation about us about our friends with benefits without understanding how deep it is <laughs>